Hey there everyone, now in this video we will write the controller for updating a user. So I have like written a boilerplate for the controller and its respective route as well. So it is a put route on slash and we are using the update user controller with auth middleware. Now uh, I have to do few few things. So first is to define the default shipping address and billing address in the user model. So let's do that. It will be of type int and it can be a label. And same goes for default billing address as well. Although like we are not working on the payment gateway, but let's uh, give you an idea of how things work. So default shipping address and default billing address. Let's migrate these. And px prisma migrate dev and name. and default addresses. So it's done. Let's run the server again, npm start. And now first we have to define the schema here. So for the schema, go to the users.ts and define the update user schema. z.object and what we want to update is we can update name we will say z dot string and it can be nullable apart from that we want to update let's go ahead and see name and let's update these two things as well which is default shipping address and billing address so it will be z dot number it can also be nullable and same goes for this dot nullable so this is how the schema works now let's go ahead in the controller so in the users controller, in the update user, first we will verify this schema. So we will say const validated data is equal to update user schema dot parse. And we will say request dot body. Now if we go into the schema, let's make it all caps because let's keep it consistent. So here we'll also say update user schema and in the imports we have to say update user schema. So it's fine. Now you can see that now I'm holding the result of this parse in a separate variable. Earlier what we were doing is we were like simply uh, using the request dot body after the parsing. So if you hover over this you can see that the type is automatically like inferred. So this is the benefit of TypeScript. Now we have to do a couple of things here. We have to write a couple of try catches. So this try catch is for uh, validating the shipping address. So we will say, first let's define a couple of variable. Let address of type address. And same for billing address. Now in the first try catch, what we are going to say is uh, shipping address is equal to prisma client dot address dot find first or throw where id is equal to validated data dot default shipping address. I guess it should be ID here, not just the default shipping address ID. No, 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 we can like I have made a mistake. It should be ID here because we are not storing the complete address here. We are just storing the ID. So, okay, let's use uh, this only then. 
I made a mistake there. The ideal name should be default uh, shipping address ID. So let's see. Uh, default shipping address. And if shipping address is not found, we want to throw an exception. So let's copy this from here. And we will say not found, address not found, everything is fine. And this thing uh, we only want to do is if validated data dot default shipping address. So we will move this inside try catch because we want to perform this operation only if user is trying to update the uh, shipping address. And same thing we have to do for billing address as well. So we will say default billing address. Let's copy this default billing address and it will be billing address. So it's fine. Let's close this first. So we have validated these two things. Now let's update the user. We will say const updated user is equal to await prisma client dot user dot update and we will say where id is equal to request dot user dot id and in the data we will say or we can directly pass the validated data here and in the response dot json we will pass the updated user so this is how uh, update user controller will work there are a couple of things more we, which we have to check so if the shipping address is found and if shipping address dot user id not equal to request dot user dot id then we have to throw an exception here new sorry bad user bad request exception and we have to say that address does not belong to user and in the error code uh, we have to define this error as well so in the root.ts uh, we can say that in the users only address does not belong like you can give whatever name suits you the best. I am just giving the simple name here and we will say error code dot address does not belong because uh, user can attach the shipping address, its own shipping address. So we have to write this explicit check here and same in case of billing address as well. So billing address dot user id is equal to is not equal to request dot user dot id then we have to say address does not belong to user now let's go ahead and use test this controller first so just go to the postman let's first save these requests and we'll duplicate this request and we will say update user And inside the body, what I want to say is Oops. I want to update the default shipping address and go to the Prisma Studio. And if you can see that in the address, we have two address there with the user ID of 8. So I am logged in with uh, user ID 8. So that's good. So let's change the user ID of one of the address to see if the error is working fine or not so i want to attach uh, the address 2 to that uh, user 8 so let's see if it's working or not send cannot post so obviously it support api okay uh, you can see that invalid type name is required Shipping default shipping address is required and default billing address is also required. But I guess we have made all these things nullable here. Uh, yep, these are these are nullable. So I am not sure what the error is. Uh, 
Okay. Update the user schema. Create. Okay, let's give these things first. Name, empty. But empty name will like override that, so it's not the point of giving the empty name here. I am not sure what the error is. First, uh, let's see if it's actually calling this controller or not. So we'll say console.log. We'll say update. User called. And just open the terminal. Okay, the app is crashing. Maybe that can be the reason. So let's npm start again because it's creating the port problem sometimes. So I'm not sure why it's, that's happening. Okay, so update user called. So it means that update user schema is working fine. Okay, so the issue was in the documentation, they suggest using optional instead of null even. Like I'm not sure why it's not working because in the previous versions I used to write this code so nullable was working but now they are saying to use the optional so let's use this. Like if you go into the documentation they are saying to use this optional here. Now let's see if it's working or not. It's giving address not found. So I guess the issue is in the controller this is throwing an error and it's coming inside this catch block so we just need to remove this and place it here and same for billing address as well now i guess it should work fine let's see yeah now it's saying address does not belong to the user so if i change it to one you can see that now it's working fine so this is how update user works now in the next lectures we will see how to design the card functionality